Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Val. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affects our piano playing and helps overcome some technical problems that cannot be solved by traditional way of practicing. Cleaning and sensitive fingertips are necessary to play with loose hands and at the same time to develop many different touches and tones. It's so, so important uh, if you want to be a good pianist. It also benefits our fluent technique because you would have no effort to play evenly in fast tempos with relaxed hands and cleaning fingertips. <laughs> fingertips, I don't know how else to explain that, the students would might have some troubles with feeling this. Either they would start tense hands together with fingertips or they would have to relax their fingertips in order to relax their hands. Moreover, students really have no clue uh, about these correct sensations of cleaning fingertips, so they end up usually being quite confused. You develop cleaning fingertips or when you can play with relaxing loose hands by sending uh, energy impulse of created in your mind sound to your fingertips. Just like in talking, when your tongue would already prefer how to twist the way it could express your thoughts. So let's see how imagination affects our playing. Uh, we gonna imagine note in the timbre of vocal voice or string group of instruments. For example, here we could imagine cellos. I'm going to imagine C and cellos. Now, after I hear it, I bring my relaxed hands to the keyboard, I gently touch the key, feeling how my fingertip express, conveys, basically, my uh, sound idea. And gradually, day by day, it will naturally develop this motion that will ultimately bring him to this cleaning sensation. <laughs> it's very important, by the way, to keep your hand very relaxed because if there is any unhealthy tension, that would prevent that energy impulse that created in your mind by, by imagining sound uh, to flow to your fingertip. So your fingertip will never get the the energy so you can never develop your fingertip this way and another thing which is very helpful uh, for playing chords simultaneously we all know how hard it is especially if we need to voice one note in the chorus for example middle voice uh, so what we need to do we need to develop polyphonic ear imagine all notes together and when we can imagine them, then we can pre-feel it on the fingertips and this is how we would control every finger while playing. So you can play very soft and make sure that it's going to be super, super, super uh, accurate. And of course we can play forte, but with forte we don't usually have problems. <laughs> every finger works very nicely on forte. So, if you have problems to imagine all the parts simultaneously right away in your head, then I suggest you to imagine notes first sequentially, just like that, and then you would reduce time between notes, and then everything you do in your mind, and at some point you will realize that time is zero and now you can clearly hear all parts at the same time in your head. And you will be surprised how easy it is to develop your polyphonic ear this way. That's it, it's that simple. And in my next video, I'm going to explain you how to develop flexible wrist that also helps your hand be relaxed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.